So the next video in this series was meant to be what I think happened to the Monterey Strat. However, Paul Davids just released a statement on his Instagram account that I feel is very important. So today we'll cover this story and its ramifications for the Monterey guitar. First, let's hear what Paul Davis had to say, along with the quote from the current owner of the guitar, Justin. Statement regarding the Hendrix Monterey Strat video. Hey all, I've decided to pull the infamous Hendrix Strat video, for now. Since the video came out, there have been doubts, about the authenticity of the guitar. I understand the concerns regarding this instrument, and I'd sure love to get to the bottom of this. I've been speaking with the owner of the guitar, and he has always been very forthcoming with extra information, and provenance of the guitar, whenever I asked for it. I learned more about the history of this very guitar, than any of my own guitars. Some of the info is known, some of it is private or even confidential. When this information ever comes out, is unfortunately not up to me. So how to go forward? The owner is willing to put together a panel of independent industry experts, to determine the authenticity of the guitar, to fully cooperate, and share the guitar, and everything he knows about it, with the panel. I think it's the only way to go forward really. If the guitar is genuine I'd love to put the video back up, since it was an awesome experience. If this turns out to be a fake, he was the victim of a highly elaborate scam, and I fell for it too. In that case I'm feeling sad for the owner, but also for the fact that someone actually purposely replicated the guitar, and sold it as such. I think it would be a good idea to do a follow-up video anyway, because however this ends, the whole situation has been a great life lesson, so far. The fact I didn't do a follow-up video yet, or put out a statement other than changing the title and added a pinned comment, is simply that I do not want to speculate. Let me end this with a direct quote, from one of the chats I had with the owner, which I think says it all. Once the independent panel have reached a conclusion, either this will once and for all be authenticated, as one of Jimmy's most important guitars, or it will have been one of the most sophisticated scams, which aside from myself, would have duped the experts at Fender. I'm glad this guitar has had the attention it deserves, and only hope the process of setting up a truly independent panel of experts, with authority and knowledge, can happen smoothly, sooner rather than later, and a process can be agreed, which satisfies everyone, it is completely independent, and proper. I have to say this is an awesome revelation and great response from both Paul and Justin. Both of these guys have been gentlemen the whole way through this situation. I've been in regular contact with Justin since the situation with Miles Porton, the media influencer, fell apart. He is a proper gentleman and a very kind person who I get on with very well. When I saw Paul's statement, I wrote to Justin praising his decision. I've cut out any personal details, but here is the gist of what I wrote to him. Dear Justin, having seen Paul's statement tonight, I am full of respect and admiration for your decision. I think putting together an expert panel would be so wise. If it turns out to be a fraud, would you have any recourse to get your money back? I truly hope so. If there is anything I can do to help, please let me know. I will be making a video praising this decision and your fortitude. I know the media influencer was nasty to me, but you have been nothing but a gentleman. Thank you. Sorry I have not had the courage to call you. I now wish I had done sooner, but have had so many people come out of the woodwork on this. I really didn't know where to start in telling you. I knew some of it might be disparaging, and that's not what I'd wanted for you. I'm gutted the guitar is likely not the Monterey, but I still strongly believe it might be another of Jimmy's guitars. I hope this all resolves well for you and we can talk soon. Kind regards, Mike. I'm truly in awe of Justin and his fortitude in this matter. It can't have been easy having so many people questioning the authenticity of his guitar. It's clear though that putting the guitar out there for all of us to see was very brave. And taking this further step of a panel of experts is even more brave. It seems clear to me and probably most enthusiasts that this guitar is highly unlikely to be the Monterey Strat. However, as I've said all along, it could still be a Hendrix guitar. Whatever the guitar is, it's an awesome sounding instrument. Paul certainly made it sing.
Whatever the outcome of this expert panel is, I hope that Justin will not lose out. If this proves to be a fraud, then I think there should be recourse for Justin to get his money back. What do you think? He is a great guy and hasn't deserved to have all this hanging over him. Sadly, I think he was badly advised by others from the outset. I really hope this resolves in a positive way for Justin and for Paul. Please let me have your thoughts in the comment section. I look forward to reading them and replying to as many as I can. I'll be putting out that video on the fate of the Monterey guitar very soon. In the meantime, you take good care.